Well, <laughs> look at you, long time no see. Oh, well, don't just stand there. Come here. Give me some love. I feel like it's been forever since I've last seen you. Mm. Oh. How have you been? Oh, come in. Come in. Of course, of course. Uh, you're a little early, I think. I, I, I don't remember all that you have going on, and... And to be quite honest, I know that there's supposed to be more people here, but you're the first person that's shown up. Oh, absolutely not. You dare imply that you would be intruding in my home space where I love to have you and have cooked for you and gave you a welcoming party when you transitioned and all of the... I would hope that of all things... You think of this as a second home. Well, of course, a second home. The first home, obviously, is where you want it to be. Where the heart is and all that delicate stuff. You know what I mean. Sit down, sit down, please. It's been forever since I've seen you. Look at how you've grown. And look how Beautifully, you're changing. Do you... I certainly don't want to say anything offhand, but... Do you feel better? M more like yourself, I mean. Well, you certainly look happier. I mean that, yes. I remember before you came out to me and to my wife, I remember you being so nervous. Like the change was somehow going to be so different and my family wouldn't regard you the same way. And you remember what we said to you? Whatever makes you happy. That still applies, you know. So are you happy right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I do hope, I do hope, that everyone around you and in your circle are as supportive as you would hope and need for them to be. <laughs> you can be honest with me. See, this is the funny part about you. For years, literal years, you try to act as though I don't see these things coming. As though I, I can't tell if you're hiding something. It's okay if it's not perfect. Life rarely is. And it's especially okay if you'd rather not talk to me about this. I understand people within your inner circle and all of that. But if there are problems, and if you would allow me, I would like to help if I could. Maybe provide a older perspective on things. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is that so? Yes, yes, that, that is unfortunate. I'm sorry that people have treated you that way. I mean, I'm, 
I'm older, and so I've reached the point in my life where it's really nobody's damn business what you do. People keep to themselves, or at least they say they do, and then they find themselves just absolutely desperate to be in your business. It's a strangely hypocritical part about growing older. All the same. I'm sorry that you've not had the support that you deserve. You should be applauded, in my opinion. It's hard enough as it is stepping out of a closet, and even harder finding somebody that you love and marrying them, but... Well... Is there any encouragement that I could provide you? Would you... <laughs> Would you mind an old mom figure just rambling for a while and trying to provide encouragement? You know, when I was your age, hell, well, when I was younger, I remember nobody ever talked about transitioning. It was... The thing you didn't talk about. Much like how you didn't talk about your sexuality. It was oftentimes the punchline to a very poorly written joke. And many times that's what people do when they don't understand something. They try to make a joke out of it because that way, if everybody laughs, it makes them comfortable. But I can guarantee you there was certainly a large community that was not laughing. But I remember not understanding it as a child. And then as I got older, I realized that outside of the opinions and the words being thrown about carelessly, that there are very real, very human lies on the other side of these jokes. People who feel their confidence start to fall apart because somebody doesn't use preferred pronouns, or call them the name they wish to be called by, or even acknowledge the transition. <laughs> when I was your age, there wasn't even a term for bisexual. If you liked both, you were in a phase, and it was a unfortunate joke that still very much has its claws deeply in people. All of that said, the aforementioned encouragement that I wanted to give you was simply to say that I think it is incredible that you are living in this time and in this moment. Is it perfect? <laughs> no. But nothing ever really is. Few things truly are. There's still going to be prejudice and bigoted people and an unfortunate side effect of that poison seeping through generation to generation. But I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the way that you stood up for yourself. I'm proud of my children for standing up for you, for loving you exactly who you are and being what you need them to be. And I hope that when they have children, the only thing they will see you as is another human being. That's certainly how I raise them, with love and compassion and understanding. And none of this gatekeeping nonsense that just... Uh, it makes me feel my age every day it gets discussed. <laughs> what I wouldn't have given to have adequate representation at your age. And now we have actors and and and, and so many people in in high profile being their authentic selves. And I think there's something beautiful about that. There'll always be... Oh, haters? Do you still call them haters? I, there are always going to be people 
who are going to try and squash your happiness because they are not that level of happy. It's jealousy. Deeply rooted jealousy. How dare somebody be so happy when I can't achieve that? And it's a very simple answer for what you do with those people. You disconnect them from your life. And you keep close the circle of friends that support you and love you and want the best for you. <sighs> Believe me. I wish that I could tell you the world has changed so much that you could be so comfortable being exactly who you are at the moment that you want to be and, and no one would be any the wiser or say anything about it and it wouldn't be a political issue and so on and so forth. But you know, if we've come far enough, or at least this far in my lifetime, how exciting will it be for you to find out how much more we have continued to grow when you're my age? Maybe one of these days, my wife and I will be able to comfortably sit out on the front porch no matter where we are, having some tea after dinner and just enjoying each other's company and the quiet of the evening as it settles over our corner of the world. I don't always like sitting in the back porch. Sometimes I wish I could wave to my neighbors and invite them over for a cup of coffee or something like that. No, 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 I'm, I'm not saying right now in this neighborhood. I'm, I'm thinking of a different time. I'm thinking of a time when I was younger and in a more sheltered place where anyone who saw another gay person or mask presenting individual or anyone with another girl and they were very romantically inclined you were looked at like you were unusual something to gawk at when people aren't used to seeing a true reflection of love. It's strange to them. Not that straight persons are invalid. That's not what I mean. I, I simply mean that when I think about those times, I think about people in those areas now. And how nice it would be to just... <sighs> Have a community where you can sit together and bond together over life and its situations and how you've persevered through them as a community, as neighbors and as friends. <laughs> Listen to me ramble, though. I guess what I'm ultimately getting at is that I hope that for you. Life isn't always easy, and sometimes there will definitely be people who, if they aren't going to kind of crush your happiness, they will do everything they can to get rid of that freedom for you altogether. That's been my life experience. But maybe it doesn't have to be yours. Maybe. When I watch you and my kids set off and go on your own adventures that life has set for you, maybe I can sit back here and dream of you having a future where that's not something you have to worry about. And I'll be damned if I don't fight for it. You're a good kid. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry, you're not a kid. You're not. You're far from it. You're not a kid, and my kid aren't kids. It's an old habit. You're going to be my age, and I'll still be calling you kid. That's, uh, 
Just a difference in age, I guess. Let me just ask you one important question, and, and, and then we can get up and get ready and, and all of that, but just be honest with me. Are you happy? I, I, I've, I've said a lot, and I know that I... But really, are you happy? And sweetheart, that's all I need. And if anything happens that makes you unhappy, especially if that has anything to do with my kids, you need to tell either myself or my wife right away, and we will absolutely uh, work on that. Eh, life's funny that way. It can be a tragic comedy at times. But we've done our best, and that's the best that we can really do. So let's go ahead and get ourselves ready. And, uh, oh, yes, I'd love your help. Absolutely. You can start by doing the dishes in the sink. <laughs> Come on, kid. You've been in my life for how long? You didn't really think I would pass up an opportunity to have somebody else do the dishes, did you? Don't worry. I've got rubber gloves. All of your accessories will be safe. <laughs> and flattery usually can get you anywhere. Not this time, though. Come on. You can tell me about anything you want to with transitioning, and if it's okay, I maybe have some questions of my own that I could ask about it all. I'd like to be better educated in it, if that's all right. Perfect. Well, let's get started. <laughs> 